Hi guys, welcome to the video on the upload queue within the YouTube bulk uploader for the lazy application. In this video we're going to check out how the upload queue works and how to actually get our videos onto YouTube. It's very fast and very simple but this video covers everything you need to know about the upload queue. So if you've been for following our previous tutorials you'll see that we added uh, and a channel into account management this is the doggy channel obviously your channels might be something completely different but just for the sake of example we added a doggy channel this will hold all our videos to do with dogs maybe dog tricks maybe I'm in the doggy business I don't know and also I added another channel because I take videos of other animals which aren't dogs and we'll put all those videos there uh, we then added some dog videos into the video editor and added them to our upload queue. So this is where we are now. Uh, you can see there's four videos ready to upload. Uh, what I want to do is add some more videos into our other channel I made called the Misc Animal channel. And that way you can see how the application handles uploading to multiple accounts at once. I have two videos here, Black Black Widow webbing and carrying a cockroach and another video about a jackrabbit here. Uh, so I want to add these into our Misc Animal channel. So I'll drop those into the video editor. You can see they're going into Misc Animal channel here and I'll add them to the upload queue. It's saving the uh, IDs to the files behind the scenes so the application can check where the videos are at all times in case we want to upload them again. And click OK. So the video database has gone up by two and so has the upload queue. So the videos have been added successfully and you can see they're at the bottom of the upload queue here. Say uh, the Misc Animal channel is very popular or you might have an excitingly humorous video you want to get on YouTube really fast. You might want to prioritize this video for example at the top of the list. The way the uploader works it takes the top video and moves down the list. So what you want to do is reprioritize a video if you would like to get it upload first or maybe it's not very interesting so you want to upload it last. To do that you right click any upload queue item and you can either move it to the top or move it to the bottom. So we right click to the Black Widow one or press move to the top. You can see the video has instantly moved to the top of the queue and the uploader will pick it off as soon as it's finished with the item uh, currently being uploaded. Uh, you can also re-prioritize an item by dragging these row headers here. So hold the mouse button down and move it up or down and that will allow the video to also reprioritize. So it's just another way of doing that. You can choose whichever one you may prefer. So once you let go of the mouse, you can see the queue item has been moved where your mouse left off. Um, another thing about upload queue items is that when you add them to the upload queue, they'll have a default status of in queue. Anything with an in queue status will be picked up by the uploader process. If there is a problem with a video being uploaded, maybe there's something wrong with YouTube, maybe you lose internet connection for example, then uh, what happens is that there'll be an upload error and the reflect, uh, status will reflect that accordingly. If you want to retry the upload, you simply right click and you can reset and requeue that item. If a couple of things have an error, then you can reset and requeue all and that will put them all back into an in queue state. If you no longer want a video uploaded, say the video quality was actually poorer than you remember or for whatever other reason, right click the video and you can simply press remove and cancel. This will remove it completely from the upload queue, but it will maintain in the video database. As you can see, there's now only five videos in here, but there are seven in the video database. That's so that you may want to upload it later, at a later date or for whatever other reason. If you want to remove it completely, then you would end up removing it from the video database instead, and that will automatically remove it from the upload queue. Uh, so, and the last thing I want to cover is uh, remove completed. If you've got a lot of completed items in here, then uh, you might want to clear it out a little bit. Say if you've got a thousand videos to upload, you can simply just click remove all completed and it will remove all items with a state of completed. Completed just means it's uploaded to YouTube and when an upload has been um, uploaded to YouTube the messages column here will have a YouTube URL of the video um, 
that has been uploaded and you can actually click that with the mouse and a browser window will open and you can actually watch the video um, right there and then so it's very very simple and very fast when you click process upload queue it will begin uploading your videos to YouTube so I've just clicked it and it's just processing the first video here which is called black widow webbing and carrying a cockroach <laughs> uh, so that's going to upload to our misc animal channel and you can see the status is now starting upload and the progress bar down here is starting that so it's now on four percent and it's going to be uploaded to our misc animal channel um, so obviously this depends on your internet connection and how fast that goes but you can leave this running in the background you can also do various other things you can tag other videos you can do really whatever you want while it's uploading uh, the application is completely multi-threaded which means you can do anything within the application while another operation is going on so uh, so there's no worries about freezing apps and unresponsive screens uh, which is great really uh, the first time you click process upload queue if you're using the app the, for the first time is um, you'll get a small window popping up asking for your license information simply input your license name and key which you received in an email and you'll be able to use the upload facility that's the uh, only part within the application that asks for your license key uh, which is this uploader here um, so you can demo the app, uh, trial it out by tagging videos, see how fast it works for you. It's the upload portion which requires the license. And that's the first time and only time you click this process uh, upload queue button. So once you've entered the license, it will never ask you again for that information. Uh, so that's the great thing about that. You can see our... Um, video is almost uploaded here when that is done we'll see a YouTube link pop up in messages so we can view that on YouTube when you upload a video to YouTube YouTube does some slight processing on the videos so um, it won't be uploaded uh, it processed instantly but you'll be able to click the URL so you can see the status of this video now is uploading it's picking up the second item uh, which is going to be put on our misc animal channel and we now have a link here to our video that has been uploaded if we click that well browser window will uh, open you can see the video has now been uploaded to our account and all our tags have been set and the um, video title also but YouTube's currently processing this item uh, as you can see the second item is now started and uh, uh, will be uploaded shortly um, you can also add more videos to the upload queue and it will continue down the list until there's no more uh, once the all the videos have been uploaded it will notify you and you can also see this number at the top here will decrease as the videos are uploaded so when you're doing other things within the application you can clearly see how your uploads are doing there so uh, that is the upload queue uh, as I mentioned briefly um, everything within the application itself uh, does not require an internet connection apart from the upload queue process so you can tag videos on a train waiting for a bus wherever you want so all this can be sorted when you have the most free time and that is the main thing about this application and unlike any other application out there that works with YouTube the key is to do all the work while you have your most free time and when you have an internet connection you simply hit this button and that's when all your videos go online so that is the upload queue. Uh, check it out and have fun with it.